Hey guys, welcome to Radiation Test. And uh, a friend of mine on YouTube shared a video with me that was uh, pretty disturbing. So what I did was I contacted the gentleman in Japan that made this video and uh, I asked for his permission to make a video to uh, look at what uh, he had found. And uh, he gave me the okay, so I want to point this thing out to you guys. Now what you're looking at now, I'm going to roll the video. You look at this gentleman. He has a dosometer, which is basically like a Geiger counter, except it uh, it records a dose over time and records it in there, so you accumulated dose over time. He takes this Geiger counter or his dosometer, moves it over to a, a fish that he bought at the local supermarket, and uh, watch what happens. See that? This is a fish. It's being sold to men, women, and children, and uh, it's pretty much a radioactive waste, guys. The Japanese government is uh, is not doing an adequate job in protecting their people at all. See, look at this. And uh, the Japanese government. Uh, it's pretty much doing all they can to have business as usual go on. And uh, over on my blog, uh, there's a link to a, a friend of mine, uh, William Milberry. He's living in Japan right now. And he done a video on food safety in Japan. And he was looking at how the Japanese government is uh, dealing with this situation. And uh, pretty much what he discovered was the Japanese government is doing very little to protect consumers from radioactive isotopes and they're doing everything they can to maintain the business as usual and uh, in one of my previous videos I evaluated I uh, evaluated an FDA document yeah you see that there's the label but I evaluated an FDA document and uh, it clearly shows that the FDA and the federal government is allowing uh, food products from Japan to be imported over here including dairy uh, and also over on my blog there's a link to uh, an interview with Marco Kaltofen and in that interview Marco Kaltofen uh, uh, clearly states that the FDA is doing very little to find radioactive contamination in food uh, I'm not saying that they're not monitoring because they've always monitored for it but they haven't ramped up efforts to to really to really deal with this situation that we're going through right now and uh, I'd like to point out something else uh, that gentleman's dosometer it detects uh, uh, beta and, and gamma uh, now this one right here is a Geiger counter called the monitor 4 and it's called that because it detects alpha beta gamma and x-rays so uh, we detect uh, alpha through the thin mica window and we can uh, detect uh, gamma rays and beta we'll let it penetrate right through the plastic and uh, get into the Geiger Mueller tube but uh, yeah it's a tragedy guys it really is but uh, I just wanted to point out if there was any doubt whether or not uh, Geiger counters and dosometers can detect radioactive contamination in food well 148 production clearly demonstrated that uh, you can indeed detect high levels of contamination in our food so uh, it's bad news guys but uh, uh, thanks for tuning in to radiation test and uh, we're going to be doing all we can to find this type of product on the market so uh, thanks a lot and stay well bye